Well, hello. Hi. Um, let me start this video by saying I am not a licensed electrician, although I have stayed a few nights in Holiday Inns. So, this is just for uh, entertainment to watch. Um, try this at your own risk type thing. Now, this home is an older home. It has a um, part of it, the old part, was built in the 40s or 50s and moved here in the early 70s. So, it has a two-wire ungrounded system. The newer part has a three-wire grounded system. So, uh, and let, let me just say electrical work is my least favorite work. Um, I can get out of it most of the time I do it. This is my own house. Uh, and, you know, the cobbler's kids have no shoes. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> well, anyway, other night I come in here. Or actually, my daughter did. I heard her go, Dad, the, the, the light's making a sizzling noise. And the, uh, the switch is making a sizzling noise. And the lights are flickering. Do, do I need to turn it out? Yes! So I come in here and I flipped. I don't know if it did. Now I had this about out and I'm like, hey, let's make a video of it. So let's see if it did it now. You hear it in there? The switch is bad. If you like to do this. Either he switches bad or your house is haunted. So, <laughs> since this house ain't haunted, it's this old switch. So, I'm going to go throw the breaker. And I'll be right back and pick up where I left off. Okay, I'm back. Turn the breaker off. Now, this is, um, as you can see, I have two terminals here. And if you notice anything special, there are only two wires to this switch. Got my got my um, ground plug here. No ground wire coming out. Again, and this switch only has two terminals on it. So uh, one of them's going to be hot, and then ninety percent to ninety nine percent of the time, it's going to be the hot. I don't know if you can see that. It's a hot wire, a uh, black wire, the white one. And some of these two uh, wire systems do carry current. Um, but this one should be carrying the current back to the light. And I've done some other wiring on this house. so um, But that's not to say it's the case here. So what I'm going to do, and I can't hold the camera and unscrew this at the same time. So I'm going to uh, unscrew these and then show you the new light switch. Uh, catch you here in just a few seconds as soon as I get this switch off. Okay, here I am again. So, I've taken the uh, old switch off. And all I've done is, this would be my traveler wire. This would be my hot one. And since there's only two wires here, no ground or nothing, this is the only two I have hooked up. Now, let me say something. When you put these uh, wires, I'll show you this switch. You're able to backstab it, which is those holes right there. I hate backstabbing. Um, do not use it. Um, don't think of much of electricians who do it. Um, because it's just not as so secure as putting a little bend in your wire and then putting it on the screw. This is a much better secure system, in my opinion. And I've seen, I don't know, tens of thousands you know over over 20 some odd years so anyway make your hook on your wire and get it below this screw your hook needs to be going this way going this way see going up coming around going clockwise so when you tighten this screw it tightens and against this wire and pulls it in, in direction otherwise you could be tightening it up if you went this way and your wire could be opening up and you'll not get a good um contact with it same way here loop comes this way goes under and goes over just clockwise uh so anyway 
there you have it this is actually a three-way switch but it's the only one i had a house and it will work so uh, i've got this wired up got the wires tightened down right here right there and i'm fixing to go flip the breaker on come back take a look at it and we'll see uh how we did so anyway if it doesn't work it's your fault <laughs> so okay catch you in here in a few seconds okay i'm back let's see if the handy job right here works we have light and it's not flickering easy as that now these wires are still exposed this is a plastic junction box but call me old school but before i put this back in there i am still i've got it someplace folks just hold on i am still going to take my black tape and wrap around wrap around these coating uh these wires uh, once or twice and then i'll put it back in the box and that's all there is to it this is a really simple job again this home is a two this part of the home has a two wire non-grounded system and that's what they did back in the old days you know so it's not what i would like i'm i'm all for you know uh, when it comes to electrical, I want the three wire grounded and every eight foot ground rod in there drove into the ground, all that good stuff. But sometimes in reality, this is what you end up with and it, you just got to be careful working on it. Um, if your home does have a two wire ground system and you're changing out ceiling fans or lights, always be careful because on most of them that I've run across, the white wire which you would think would be a neutral not carrying current even though the switch is off to that light there's still current so uh, i don't know how many times i've run into that so you've always you you run in that a lot on these old homes usually i have a non-contact voltage sniffer the kind that you stick it up over for voltage the light comes on it's out in the pickup i ain't gonna go get it but anyway, it's a good thing to have to always, I don't care how many switches you've thrown, uh, always check these outlets, any outlet before you start working on it. Even if you got the breaker thrown, because in this house, the breakers work the kitchen light and, and this light and the bedroom, one of the bedroom lights, but the other bedroom light is on the new system over in the other side of the house. So just, you cannot be careful enough when you're working on electricity so anyway guys thank you for watching uh this is how you're going to change out a light switch in a, a two wire ungrounded house at least in this house this is how you do it um had my hot coming here my um traveler wire going back to the light fixture there so anyway difference is night and day so anyway donald blue collar diy I'm out. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe down here and click on that little bell so you get notifications every time I post a video. Some of y'all saying, well, when, when do I know you post a video? Click on that little bell down there and when uh, I post a new video, you'll get notifications. Uh, some of you getting them, some of you not. So anyway, and don't forget to put this on your playlist. Um, appreciate it. Hey, catch us on the next video coming out pretty soon.